So you're going to Turkey and you need some ideas of things to do when you get there. Well, lucky for you, I have put together my top five excursions to do in Hisaranu and Aldenius. Now, all of these excursions can be booked via multiple agencies along the strip. Just make sure that the company is insured and certified to do the tours. Um, my personal favourite is Cadienda Tours. We've used them multiple times. Um, and they've just been the best in my opinion. All these activities are suitable for everyone. So whether you're in a couple, a big family or a group, children, there's something for everyone. So starting at number one is the Jeep Safari tour. Now this tour is my favorite because you basically go head to head with other Jeeps, other companies and have a massive water fight along the dirt roads. You stop off at multiple locations and that will depend on the company you booked with and the season um, but you will be able to do other activities on the tour as well as water rafting and do sand buggies and again depending on who you book with some are included in the price but we had to pay extra for the activities. One thing I will say about this trip is it's a really long day, so just bear that in mind if you've got little ones. I think we got picked up around 9am and we didn't get back till around half 6pm. Um, you do get lunch as well, um, but just bear in mind it is a really long day. Number two is going on a boat tour and if there's a big group of you, I highly recommend booking a private yacht. And I know this sounds a little bit bougie, but it was literally £15 per person. Um, there was 10 of us at the time and lunch was included and you just pay a little bit extra for your drinks. Each company is different, but we stopped at five different locations and we were able to get out each time and little boats come to you and you can go on the water couches um, and they bring ice creams and everything over. It was brilliant, such a good day. I would highly recommend it. Having said that, I've also been on the bigger boat trips. What I will say is they can get a little bit overcrowded. It just depends on what you're after. Different companies do different things, so just have a little shop around. The company we use for the yacht is called Aqua Yacht Fetia. You can find them on Facebook or just have a little look on Instagram. Now this next one might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it's the Dalian Mud Bath Tour. And if you've got little ones, just double check with the company that they're allowed to go in the mud bath before you book as well. The coach ride to get to the boat is roughly two hours, I think. And um, that's coming from Hisaranu, Aldenese area. And you do stop along the way and get snacks and toilet breaks. So when you get on the boat, you visit multiple locations and the first stop is lunch, which again is included. You get back on the boat and make your way to the Dalian mud bath. And this does tend to be overcrowded as it's so popular. And it will depend on the time of year. We went in July, so it was a very popular month. After you cover yourself in the mud, you can then wash it off and go into the sulfur bath. It's best to check if there are age restrictions because it is boiling hot. There are so many benefits from using the mud and the sulfur bath and your tour guide will tell you all about it when you arrive. The last stop is Dalian Beach and here you will see a lot of turtle nests so please be careful where you walk as we don't want to harm the eggs. The day we went, um, the waves were quite rough so just be careful if you are getting in the sea. If you're scared of heights then this one definitely isn't for you but I would highly recommend anyone to do the cable car in Aldenese. This takes around 20 minutes and the views are spectacular, it's honestly incredible. We went for sunset but if you go earlier you can watch the paragliders take off and there's also restaurants up there that you can book in advance. I just want to point out as well that we went in July and as soon as the sun went down on that mountain, we were freezing cold. So if you're going to go, just take a little jacket up, especially if you go later on in the year. Last but not least is the Aquaworld Water Park. Now the reason this is last is purely because I'm a big baby and I don't like water slides, but it's such a good day out for the kids. There's a range of slides to choose from and even a wave pool 
and they've got a little children's area with a shallow pool and a slide. Didn't get any footage of this because I felt like it was inappropriate to film, but there are other videos on YouTube that show this. My favourite part is the Lazy River because it's so relaxing. I've done a full tour, I'll link it here or here, wherever it is, um, so you can check out that as well. So I hope by the end of this video you've got a couple of ideas of things you can do with your time in Turkey. I will link all my Turkey videos down below so you can go and check them out as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!